Economist Dr. Valmiki Arjun said corruption and rising debt in the face of a lack of diversification are major hindrances in positive growth in our economy. He said the growing perception of corruption made it difficult for foreign investors to gamble on our market. We've lost possibly billions over the last few decades to corruption, and this in turn would have stifled our competitiveness as well. We keep falling in the, competitive, in, in the, um, the corruption perceptions rankings. We're now standing at 101st position. And this not only diminishes confidence in our economy and deters private businesses from wanting to invest further, but it also leads to unnecessary spending and unnecessary additional debt. The Economist said this, along with crime, continued to be a major turnoff for foreign investors. He pointed to worker shortages caused by crime as a result. It's affected the productivity of the workforce. For instance, some manufacturing firms are finding it difficult to get their employees to work the night shift as they're fearful of being mugged or killed when having to access public transportation in the early hours of the morning. It's also urgent that we strengthen the national tripartite and expand it to include as much stakeholders as possible in each category. This is going to stimulate confidence in the economy and attract much needed inflows of foreign direct investment. Dr. Arjun suggested a couple measures which would aid in reducing expenditure, such as privatizing state entities, setting up a dollar-for-dollar -dollar health payment plan for private facilities, the opening up of the stock market to foreign companies, and incentives to encourage small and medium-sized enterprises to be competitive. So to promote the activities of SMEs and their development, the Ministry of Trade could set up an SME infrastructure and investment bank. The purpose of such an institution will be able to assist SMEs in sourcing funding from local and foreign private investors and even foreign governments.